In this video, I want to show you how you can track your business KPIs using the new goals feature in Power BI. I'm going to show you how you can quickly get started with using goals, create your own goals manually without data, or link it with your data sets to create a more dynamic goals. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So goals simply allows you to track your KPIs, short for key performance indicators, which is pretty much the same as sort of pinning your visuals into a dashboard but with a bit more flexibility. So goals is not exactly a new feature. If you watched my monthly update videos in the past, you'll see that I covered it quite frequently, but uh, because it's been premium uh, this whole time, I didn't manage to create any videos on it. But it seems that from this month onwards, it's also available for pro users as well. So I want to show you the basics so that you can get started with using and creating your own goals. So first you can access your goals from the Power BI service. So going to app.powerbi.com from your browser will bring you to your uh, Power BI service and accessing the goals will be on the left hand side corner called goals. And you need to have your own Power BI account in order to uh, access uh, the full power of the uh, Power BI service and you need a, an account with a pro license to create and view goals that are uh, custom created. If you're having trouble creating your own account because you only have a personal email address, I have a video that covers how you can do this step by step and create your own Power BI account, which will in turn give you a trial account for a pro license for a number of days. So you can test out and see if uh, goals will work for you. So now that I've selected goals, you can see a couple of things here. I haven't created any goals yet, but you'll see a couple of different example scorecards that just shows you the type of uh, scorecards and goals that you can create with this new goals feature. So if I click, for example, the human resources sample here, it just gives us a flavor of how a scorecard will look like. And don't get confused, scorecards are pretty much just a way uh, to group uh, goals together. So you can see here in this scorecard, you can have multiple goals. You can filter by the different statuses that you have here, what are overdue, what is behind, what is completed, for example. You can filter and sort this by the name of the goals themselves or uh, filter by keyword. And each item in this scorecard is a goal which you can expand to by itself. So if we click on this uh, first goal here, you will see that it will give us some information about this uh, goal itself. Now, because this is a part of, uh, uh, it's a parent goal of uh, sub goals, we can have a look at some of its individual sub goals here, which will give us some different information about those. So you will see the activities that have happened in this goal. So when were the values checked in uh, and you know what was set, who did it and when. You can go to the history itself, uh, which will give you some information, things like what is the change between uh, the current value and the previous value, and you know just some more information about what has changed in this goal. This is pretty much how a goal looks like. And the Power BI team has done a good job at giving us some examples of you know how you could and should use goals. So we're gonna follow in their footsteps and actually create our own. So let's go back to the goals uh, part of our Power BI service here. And let's create a new scorecard here. Um, and we're gonna track something random. So I'm gonna just create something called an income tracker. Um, we're just gonna give it uh, some description. So uh, tracks income on a monthly basis and compares against target. 
and you have the option to create it either in your workspace or in some other workspace, but we'll just create it in my workspace for now. If we hit create, it has created now a scorecard for us, which is where we can add our new goals. So let's start by creating a new goal here. So if we click plus, you'll see that uh, we can enter you know, some information for the goal that we want. So here we have a few options. Uh, so first we can uh, name our goal. So in this case, maybe we can say uh, reach uh, 10K revenue, just as an example. Um, so that's the goal that we want to set ourselves. So who is the owner? Uh, you can assign it to yourself or you can assign it to a team or your teams and you can assign it to multiple people uh, over here. The current and target values uh, is also something that you can modify. You'll see that you can enter the value manually here or you can connect it to data. But for now, um, we're just gonna set it as uh, manual. So we're gonna type just a random number here and let's say our target is obviously 10,000. You can set the status. So what is the status here? Are we on track? Are we behind or are we completed? So we will just set a status here of, let's say on track, and we will just set the start date and end date for, uh, for a month, right? So let's save it and let's have a look at how this goal looks like. And that's really it. So now you've created a goal even if you didn't have data or a data set in Power BI, which makes it really powerful because you can use this even if it's just using it to track manual numbers. So if we click on that goal now, you'll see that it gives us a bit more information. So it gives you uh, certain values here. And at the moment, we obviously added our first value today, which is the 28th of February. Um, you can see the check-ins here, which is the first check-in that we did, which is pretty much just adding a value in our goal, the history of what's been changed, the status rules, which is a dynamic uh, thing that we can have a look at setting up later, and some settings that you can uh, modify here for your goal. So if we go back to the details page of this goal, uh, and if you're working with uh, manual goals, you will most likely want to add a history of entries to this. So for example, uh, maybe we go to tomorrow or maybe in the past, it wasn't always 6K. We know that um, back in, let's say January, it was about 3K and we want to represent that in our KPI over here. So you can add new values in your manual goal using the check-in feature. So you can click this new check-in at the bottom here you can add the value that you want. So I think we said 2K and we said that was back in January. So we can select a different date sometime in January and we can even change the uh, the status here. So we can say when it was 2000, it was uh, behind. You can add notes and this will show up in your history, which is really, really cool because it means that um, you can add notes for a certain times of uh, of your KPI, which uh, when you look back to it, it will you know give you an indication of why that value was there at that point, and it makes it really, really easy to track. So we can say that maybe something happened here. Um, we only hit 2K here because uh, I was on holiday. If we hit save, so you will see that now it adds a new point of value in our uh, line chart over here. It adds a new activity here at the bottom, which is the uh, the 2K that we added along with the status and the note that we've added. So you've seen me add and modify the statuses manually, but did you know that you can add rules to make this a bit more dynamic? So if you go to status rules here, uh, which we kind of saw a little bit uh, earlier, you can create rules which pretty much works like a conditional values in Excel. So if you create a new rule here um, and it will allow you to create multiple rules that will automatically change the status based on what parameters you put here. 
So we're gonna create, uh, let's just create a couple of uh, rules here. And let's say if the value is, uh, let's say greater than, um, and you can choose either the value, the number value or the percentage to the target, uh, which is pretty handy. So let's say if the value is greater than, uh, let's say 8,000, that is on track. If the value is greater than uh, let's say six, well, let's say 5,000. We can do it is at risk. And if it is less than, let's say 5,000, we can say that is overdue, otherwise it's not started. So if we save that, so you'll see that the goal has automatically changed its status based on the rules that we've set up on our status rules. So now it's showing us that the value that we have is currently at risk because of the status rules that we have set up. So let's just have a look at that. If it's, the value is greater than or equals to 5,000, it should be at risk, otherwise it should be on track. So you can see that it's showing at risk there. However, you'll see that if we now try to edit this latest value uh, here to say it's, let's say, let's say it's 9,000, um, you don't have an ability to control the status manually anymore because you've set up the automated rules to set it up for you. So I think if you just try to put 2,000, or let's just try 9,000 for now, you'll see that it changes that on track based on the status rules that you've set. And that's really it with how you set up your own manual goals. But let's say you already have an existing report that you want to track and you want your goal to connect to that data so that your goals are updated automatically so you don't have to manually check them in. Um, and you can certainly do that in goals. So I wanna show you first this report that I have already created here which pretty much just analyzes uh, YouTube revenue. And uh, if you wanna get a hold of this uh, Power BI file, it is available through my website. I'll leave it links down below. And from here, you can see that we have a breakdown of revenue per month here in this chart. And we want to track this pretty much. We want to see, um, uh, we want to track the monthly revenue for uh, our goals and you know we want to reach a goal of let's say a hundred pounds of revenue per month and that actually is very very simple to link into goals so we'll go back to our income tracker here and I'm gonna create a new goal here and I'm gonna say uh, reach this one reach hundred pound monthly revenue so this is gonna be our new goal here the current value, you can see that we have an option to connect to an existing data. So we click that. It will give me an option to connect to any reports that I have access to. And the report that I was just demonstrating is the Deptford. So I'm gonna click that one, click next. And you'll see it gives us a preview of that report. So from here, you simply just need to click or select the visual that you want to track. And because it's already in a year month, uh, we want to track all the data in this time series. So we're gonna leave it as it is, and we're gonna click connect. So you'll see that now um, it's giving us the current value in our report, which is 109 pounds. The target, we can set it up manually, um, or you can connect it somewhere else if you wanted to, but we'll set it up just manually for now. We'll leave the status as it is, um, and we'll hit save. So you'll see that now we have this uh, goal that is connected to our report with the data that we have connected to. So if we click on that goal now, you'll see that it's giving us the monthly revenue that we had in our Power BI report, but translated here in goals. You'll see that we had just one check-in. Uh, however, if you go to history, you'll see that it's included every single value in the time series that we had, which is the year month time series. And that's it. So you've pretty much created a goal 
that is automatically updating based on an existing data set. And that's really it for this video. So we didn't cover everything that Goals has to offer, but I hope this video gave you a good overview of what Goals can do for you when it comes to tracking your business KPIs. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.